The Brazilian Amazon faces an ongoing crisis of how to sustain agricultural livelihoods that will not further encroach on the forest and on indigenous territory. It's a region that oddly suffers from perceived land abundance. Here, typical land holdings are well over 100 acres in size, and labor is scarce. In 2017, I went to two municipalities located at two opposite ends of the Trans-Amazon Highway to investigate the potential of transitions to agroforestry and tree crops. One of these crops is cacao, or cocoa. It's a native Amazonian tree, often grown in association with other species. But West Africa and Indonesia produce much more cacao than does Brazil. However, in Apui, in the state of Amazonas, farmers are starting to plant cacao in small plots. And in Medicilandia, in the state of Pará, which has become Brazil's capital of cacao, the crop has been a mainstay in the community for two generations. Aqui nós estamos esticando a lona, aqui na chácara recanto do Sabiá, quilômetro 75 sul, 5 km da BR da Transamazônica. Que nem aqui eu tenho 100 pés desse, dessa idade aqui. Esse 100 pés eu quero um mil quilos todo ano. Esse pezinho de cacau aqui foi o pezinho que jamais produziu na nossa chácara. Na SAF nós tivemos 280 cabaças nesse pé. Em colaboração com a NGO Idizão, in Manaus, my research sought to better identify the characteristics of farms and farmers that work with cacao and constraints on its broader adoption. The main finding was that medium fertility soils were not a constraint on its successful cultivation, as often thought. Labor is the more significant challenge in farming cacao, and farmers desperately seek technical assistance, a secure market, and access to credit. But with appropriate support, Farming of cacao and other trees could become more viable and widespread in the Brazilian Amazon. Quite possibly, such agroforestry could become a model for productive reforestation of previously deforested land.